Georgia Southern at James Madison. The last game that we're going to be previewing this week. Uh, this line has moved up. It was at four and a half yesterday when I checked. I had to make that adjustment today on the graphic. It's at minus five and a half. At six at some places. Kind of stinky. Kind of super What's smelly go- to me. What 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 is it, man? Is this just they see five and oh. James Madison, and they're like, let's rip them at home. Is that, like, is oh, that they, what that is? Oh, they, they have a power five win. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know. Now, okay. Power five James Madison, win. James Madison is a very good football team. Yeah, James Madison yeah. is a very good football team. They really are. So, I think I know where we're both taking this game. But it's not James Madison. Give me Coastal. Uh, wow. Give me Georgia Southern. We just watched Coastal Carolina last night. Give me, give me Georgia Southern. I'll take them to win. I'll take, obviously, I'll take the points if you're giving me five and a half of them. I think Davis Brand's a dog. I do think James Madison was vulnerable. If you watched that Virginia game, they were vulnerable through the air with explosive plays. And I think Georgia Southern, as crazy as it may sound on the surface, but it's not really that crazy on all reality. I think they're better equipped than Virginia to take advantage of that and to not blow the lead at the end there like Virginia did and get a win on the road, in conference play, right? We, what James Madison did, and I, yes, the Virginia win, it'll get the national attention. I think that's very impressive going on the road there. Whatever, I'm happy for you guys. I do think their win at Troy and beating South Alabama are honestly two more impressive wins than that win. Yes. Right? Um, and the way and, that they did them, too, like the way that they won those games, too, like they they looked really, really good. Exactly, but but – Georgia Southern, in their own right, has also looked fantastic. I thought they hung in there with Wisconsin at Wisconsin, right? They they kind of bullied Coastal Carolina last week. And correct me if I'm wrong, Georgia Southern has, excuse me there, Georgia Southern has like a little bit of extended buy, right? Because they didn't pl- they 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 played what, like two weeks ago, and it was on like a Thursday or a Friday. It was or whatever it was like. Or no, it was on uh, Saturday. I'm I, I so sorry. But regardless, they're coming off a bye. Yeah, I, 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 that's why Georgia Southern and the points, you, you can talk about it. Yeah, well, look, James Madison, how were they able to shut down Troy and South Alabama? Right, that, that, That's a reasonable question. Both are actually pretty decent football teams. Those are pretty decent football teams, if you ask me. Uh, Well, James Madison has the number one run defense in the entire country. Right, and that, that that's not just because like they played not good. Like Ladarius Webb for South Alabama, very very good player. Uh, Vidal for for Troy is one of the leading rushers in the entire country, right? So what is James Madison doing there? Like they're, I mean, they're shutting guys down. They hit hard. They fly up the field. But Georgia Southern doesn't run the ball. In fact, they're they're second to last in the country, one hundred thirty second in the country, in run percentage. They run the ball about twenty times per game. That's it. Granted, they run it really effectively because when they, they do it, they're running in light boxes, right? Yeah. Which James Madison's not going to be able to do. James Madison, you talked about it, explosive plays in the past game. They're giving up 13 and a half yards per reception, about eight yards per attempt. They're 131st in pass defensive yards allowed per game. They don't know how to defend it. And last year, this game, we know this game played last year, 48 38 or 45 38, 1,000 total yards passing in that game. And James Madison, I think, added another 200 on the ground. I mean, an offensive absolute shootout. Davis Brin, stud for Georgia Southern at quarterback. Jordan McLeod's good. James Madison, he's, he's good. He's been effective. He's been efficient. But Davis Brin, dude, is a, he's a stud. He is a rising star. And, I mean, look, they're ninth in the pass offense in the country. Their defense is pretty balanced. It's average, but it's pretty balanced. I mean, they have four receivers right now with over 20 receptions. Which, by the way, if you didn't know, Iowa's wide receivers in totality combined do not even have 20 receptions, right? Guys like Caleb Hood, a little bit undersized, but if you knew, if you're a Georgia Southern fan or you're a Sunbelt fan, you knew exactly who Caleb Hood was going into this season. If you're a college fantasy football player, you knew exactly who this guy was. Highly sought after guy. Game one, only had like 45 receiving yards or whatever. But since then, he's at, he's had over seven receptions. The last two games, he's had over 100 yards. But then also Burgess, the number two guy. But he's also having – he's had seven receptions in the last four games. So it's like they're throwing the ball around, and they're throwing the ball well, well. 
So I think this game is going to be a shootout. And if you're going to give me this game in a shootout, give me Davis Brin in the fight in Georgia Southerns. Give me Georgia Southern plus five and a half and also give me them to win straight up. I love that. I love that. And yes, home field matters here, obviously, but Georgia Southern has played well on the road here so far this year. James Madison, reversely, has, I guess, also played well on the road, but to come back here at 11 o'clock a.m., ESPN2, watch that game. Please do. We talked about the 11 o'clock games here. There's some interesting ones, but this this is at the top of my list here. For all those games there, I'm going to be watching this game because the Sun Bump implications, you've got the G5, um, New Year's Six bowl game, you know, implications, obviously. And, and for all those other reasons, but also it's going to be really good football. Good football playing, two good football teams playing each other. Why not watch it, you know? And that's why we're covering it because we do believe in both of these teams. They both earned the right for us to, to pick them out of, you know, nine games that this season or this week that we've covered and excited, excited to watch them. Yeah. Uh, James Madison is a phenomenal football team. But again, I'm picking Georgia Southern because it's matchup based, right? You know, they're traveling on the road. It's kind of a rowdy building, a bit of a rowdy barn, but uh, yeah, just give me Georgia Southern. I don't, I just, I think the points, there's too many points. And I think if it's a shootout, I think we could see Georgia Southern. If it's down to like who has the ball last, I think we could see Georgia Southern coming out with Yeah. And credit James Madison. They have not been in the FBS for long. Georgia Southern, you know, joined recently as well. Definitely James Madison the past couple of years. They've been awesome. They've been really good. Last year, they were pretty good. This year, Obviously, off to a hot start. Um, but yeah, we both believe in Georgia Southern this year. 